Hello, this is Eric88. I want to thank you for watching. I got sent this product from X Direct. I have to thank them hugely. Um, this is the, I just, you know, as you see, Wintel box. It is actually a next box. I already have this open. I've already set this up. I just thought I'd be nice just to show you guys what it looked like in the box. Um, I did take the cords out, so there's pretty much nothing in this box besides just what you've seen right here. But anyways, it comes with a power adapter. A uh, medium quality uh, HDMI cord. It looks more towards your high quality one. The Ethernet cord actually comes uh, that I used with this had a little bit of problems getting stuck in here. But I think it was just the Ethernet cords, not this. But I, uh, the reason why I did not show this unboxing, I wanted to make sure that this worked when I hooked it up. This comes stock with an activated, well, pre activated version of Windows 10. You do get updates. It did receive updates, no problem. I did not have to activate anything. It is the T10, uh, T10 Next Box. But anyways, I'm gonna jump into a little bit of showing what this thing can do. I kind of pimped this thing out just to show the full full capabilities of what you can do with such, such a small hard drive and such little RAM. This comes with 32 gigabytes of hard drive space. It comes with two gigabytes of flash RAM. Um, it does have a port, however, for an OTG cable, if you want to you know, use that to maximize your storage space and also a TF card, which is your micro SD cards. So it has a one port that is a 3.0 USB and the other three ports are 2.0. It is uh, honestly a really, really well-built mini PC. Um, I'm going to show you guys uh, what it looks like when it's all hooked up, show you a little bit of preview, what it's, what it's like when I boot up my system. I have Cody installed on it, all tricked out. So anyways, we're going to jump uh, yeah, right I'll show you what I, how my little bit of a setup goes. Anyways, I got my, my mouse and my keyboard Bluetooth connector that's uh, actually this thing right here for my PS4, compliments of uh, mini remote. I have that connected, so puts that in. I have my 16 gigabyte uh, memory stick, and that's just for some random uh, media files, uh, plugins, and all that other good stuff that I've transferred. This would be for my GameSir controller to play some emulators, which uh, that's for another showcase for another time. So anyways, we're going to push that in and push that in, and I'm going to hook this up using HDMI, Ethernet, and just the power cord. That's all I'm going to use. So I'm gonna hook that up and... We're Anyways, as you see, I just booted this up. It took roughly about, I don't know, 60 seconds. So the boot time isn't, isn't you know, great. It isn't awful. Um, I have it to automatically boot up Cody, as you can see. So anyways, I'm gonna jump into this. I'm gonna show one TV show and one movie just to, just to, so that we guys have a little idea what, what this is like. Anyways, we're going to go down to Exodus, and this is going to be the plugin that I'm going to be showing. As you see, I have tons and tons and tons of them. So, anyways, we're just going to hit this. It's loading. And depending on your internet connection, depends on how fast this works. So, since right now I'm also downloading and streaming too at the same time, it's kind of slow. Um,. Here we'll go to, I'm just go to movies real fast. Um, what people are watching. And of course, this all depends on the internet connection. So, um, let's see. We're going to go Finding Dory since it's not even out yet. Just so you guys can see that it even sh uh, allows you to view movies that are still out in theaters. Still aren't even out on DVD. So... We'll just, as soon as this loads up, we'll get a little, little idea of what this is. And it pretty much picks between, um, as you can see, probably about 20 different streaming sites. So you really don't have to look that much for it. But anyways, I'm going to load up the, the very first one.
We're going to start from beginning. It's actually a lot better quality. That's just actually my uh, my camera picking up off of that. As you can see, if I move it around. So do not mind that. That's actually my lighting and everything. Quality is uh, theater quality, so it's, you know, it's bootlegged. But in other words, we're going to back out of this. So I'm going to stop this. I'm going to show you guys one TV show. And then that's probably going to be the end of my review. So... I'm going to, of course, do a video, like I said before, on how to set up a mini PC or pretty much any low-end Android TV stick um, to be a streaming device. So, let's see. TV shows. Uh, people watching. So, that way I don't got to go through a whole bunch. Um, Game of Thrones. As you see, it even has season six. Which I don't keep up with, you know, the season, so I'm not sure how current that is. I'm gonna click on the most current episode. And I click the first one. Oh, it ain't gonna allow me to do it from this one. So I gotta go to this one. But as you see, if one doesn't work, you just move to the right to the next and you don't have problems. It's loading. Of course, like I said, this depends on your internet connection. There, we'll fast forward it a little bit. But as you see, everything works. This is Eric88. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget to check out the links and the products in the description.